guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing my February TBR I think that for this month I'm gonna do a smaller TBR every year I somehow forget that February is a shorter month you'd think after living through 26 February's I would be able to remember so I'm gonna make this a little bit of a smaller TBR and then if I end up finishing all of those books I'll just pick whatever I want to read so before we get into my TBR, I want to quickly talk about the sponsor for today's video, which is Book of the Month. So Book of the Month is a super popular online book service for readers where every month you get to choose from a curated selection of five brand new hardcover books and it's completely risk-free. You can cancel or skip at any time and you won't be charged. It's a really great way to find your next read. And here are all of these selections for February. The Golden Couple, which is a thriller about a therapist who claims she can fix your problems in 10 sessions or less, and a married couple who need counseling after one of them cheats. Vladimir by Julia Mae Jones, which is about an English professor facing accusations against her husband by former students in a situation that becomes more complicated when she develops an obsession of her own. Don't Cry For Me by Daniel Black, which is about a black father who makes amends with his gay son through letters written on his deathbed. Peach Blossom Spring by Melissa Fu, which is a historical fiction novel set in 1938 China and follows three generations of a Chinese family on their search for a place to call home. And lastly, A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross, which is a fantasy book set on the magical Isle of Cadence where two childhood enemies must team up to discover why girls are going missing from their clan. The book that I am the most excited for is definitely A River Enchanted. I had not heard of this book until I saw that it was a book of the month selection and it sounds so good. I'm very much in the mood for a Scottish inspired fantasy book. So you you can get your first box for just $9.99 if you use the link in my description and the code Riley. And thank you to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. So like always, the way that I pick my TBR is I have a bunch of prompts and challenges in here to help me select my books. And I'm just going to go ahead and start selecting some. The first one is going to be, let's pick a good one, this one, which is a book with a clock on the cover. Okay, I don't think I've ever picked this challenge before. I'm thinking like maybe some books about time travel. So here's my little time travel section. So let's see. No clock there. Hmm. This one's not the official cover. So, oh, here it is. And there's no clock. Nope. Okay, I think those were all of my time travel books. No. Okay, this might be harder than I thought. What book would have a clock on it? There's probably ones that you guys are able to notice that I just don't know. Maybe like steampunk books might have a clock on it. No. Oh wait, maybe one of these, like a pocket watch. Doesn't the, doesn't the rabbit have like a pocket watch or whatever it's called? Not on the cover, okay. Okay, I just spent like 15 minutes looking and I finally found a book with a clock on it and it was on my like, TBR cart because I haven't hauled it yet, but the book is The Business of Blood by Kerrigan Byrne. And if you look back here is Big Ben. So this is a book that I got sent to me for my birthday and it sounds so good. So Kerrigan Byrne is a historical romance author, but this is like a mystery romance. I don't really know if it is romance. I'm assuming that it is. The main character in this her name is Fiona and she like cleans up crime scenes so like if somebody's murdered she's the person that they call to come like clean it up and her best friend is the latest victim of Jack the Ripper so she goes on this like mission to find Jack the Ripper and she teams up with an inspector to help her and it sounds so good like it sounds like everything that I love and I'm super excited to read this so that is gonna be my first book the next challenge is this one a book with a color in the title okay I think for this one I know exactly what I want to read because it's a book that I just ordered because I really wanted to read it this month and that is Black Sunshine by Karina Howley. So this is a vampire romance book. That is all that I know about it. I've really been wanting to read it. I'm super super behind on Karina Howley's past year of book releases but this was a series that I really really wanted to start and that I've been excited for. I believe what I remember sounded cool about this book is that both the heroine and the love interest 
interest are vampires. So it's not like a human girl and a vampire. I think that they're both vampires, which just sounds cool and different. So I'm excited for that. It should be arriving in the next couple of days. The next one is this one, which is most recent purchase. My most recent book purchase, I actually already read. So I think what I'm going to do is see what my most recent ebook purchase was because I always forget to include ebooks in my TBRs. So my most recent ebook purchase is, what's the title? Lola and the Millionaires, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Lola and the Millionaires by Katherine Moon. This is an Omegaverse book, which I've never read anything Omegaverse. I hardly know what it is, but Mina from Mina Reads recommended this book to me. And she was just very passionate about it, so I bought it right away. I actually think it was on Kindle Unlimited, but I, I bought the audiobook as well. I'm going into this totally blind. Like I said, I don't know what Omegaverse is. People have tried to explain it to me, and it never sticks. So I'm just gonna figure this out. I'll vlog it. We'll experience it together. I'm excited for that book. All right, the next challenge is this one, which is... Oh, a book without the letter A in the title. That's gonna be difficult. Okay, a book without the letter A. I feel like it might be easiest to find a book that's like a one word title. Wait, okay, no, I know what I wanna read. This was a book that I wanted to read this month. This is Real by Kennedy Ryan. So this is a romance book that literally everyone on Romance Booktube loves so much. It's about an actress who's cast in this movie and she has a romance with the film director. I actually started reading this. I think that I put this on a TBR last year and I started reading it and I was really loving it, but this book deals heavily with chronic illness. And at the time I was just not in the headspace for that so I put it down but always intending to pick it back up again so very excited for this one how many books have I had four I think I'm gonna pick one more and I'm just gonna have five books on my TBR this month <laughs> the last challenge is this one which is the first sentence challenge so in this one I just pick a couple of books and I read the first sentences and then I choose based off of that so let me pick like three books that are kind of at the top of my TBR and we will read the first sentences so here are the three books that I just picked all of these are on my my top 22 books to read in 2022. The Last House on Needless Street. The first sentence is, today is the anniversary of Little Girl with Popsicle. Okay, Finlay Donovan is killing it. The first sentence for this one is, it's a widely known fact that most moms are ready to kill someone by 8.30 a.m. on any given morning. Okay, I like that. Last one is, in my dreams, I hold a knife. And the first sentence is, your body has a knowing. Okay, I think there's a clear winner, and that's Finlay Donovan is Killing It by Elle Cosimano. So this book sounds so good. It's following a, an author who is pitching her next crime book to her editor, and someone overhears that conversation and doesn't realize she's talking about fiction and thinks that she is a killer for hire, and they hire her to kill somebody. And that's all I know about it. The premise sounds so amazing, and I've heard great things about this. So this is the winner. So there we have a really small TBR plus my two ebooks. I do have a couple fun videos planned out for February, but other than that, my reading is kind of just going to be whatever I want. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!